Right folks, uh, I'm here to bring you a quick guide to fix your Zotac Trinity RGB. As you can see here, if I move the camera, it kind of looks blue, but everything is set to white and the build is finally complete. I can alter the RGB, it works. Then one day I turned my PC on and it just, it had no RGB. I've also had another problem with this fan. Um, I might be able to post a video, um, you might be seeing it now. Basically, when it was below 60C, the fans would do this pulsing thing where they would go from 0 RPM to 800, just like this. The middle fan wouldn't spin. I got in contact with Zotac UK on Twitter, um, and then I got in contact with some engineer person via the email they gave me. They basically said, at the 50C range, the fan should be off. And when they get to 60, they should switch on. But mine weren't doing that. And they basically said, well, it's not damaging your card. Um, it's okay, which I wasn't really happy with because I've bought an expensive product. It's meant to have zero RPM fans. And it's actually worse going from zero to 900 spinning all the time because you can hear it rather than being like a constant, say, 200, 300 RPM. Um, if you take a look now, the fans are actually not spinning and it's 45C, so that's been fixed, um, which is great, because it was, I was told to RMA the card, um, so if I hadn't have found this fix, I would have had to RMA the card, which is obviously not something you want to do. So the fix, and I'll, and I'll tell you the order, because maybe the order's important, I don't know. So here's the thing that I did, okay? This is the exact process I did to fix it, so you're going to hate me because it's a bit annoying, but it does fix it. So what I did first was I got to my Firestorm and I right clicked it. I went to properties. I went to open file location and I uninstalled it. I then went and downloaded DDU, which is the way to get rid of your drivers. And when I ran that piece of software, I selected GPU and I did a clean uninstall and then a, a restart. If it does help, remember to leave a like and a comment to help spread it to other people. So you've now at your PC and you have now uninstalled drivers using DDU and you've rebooted. You're going to switch your PC off. Switch your PC off and you're going to take out your graphics card and you're going to go, oh God. So I switched it off by the plug and I unplugged my PC. I left my peripherals in the back. If that makes a difference, I don't know, but I left mine in. I then unscrewed the card and took the card out and I left it on the side for 15 minutes. This could be a, an unneeded step or it could be a needed one. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, but I took the card out and I let it stand for 15 minutes. Maybe it had some residual power in. I don't know. After 15 minutes, I plugged it back in. I, I made sure it was in the PCI slot as firm as it could go, screwed in tightly, double check all the connectors. Yeah, all the power connectors are in there properly. Okay, I then turn on the PC and it boots. Obviously, you're going to have no LEDs at this point. Um, now, you may get some sort of preliminary drivers installed for you, which I did. Um, so it's going to be a big screen with bad resolution and then Windows is going to throw some driver on it. And then you're going to go to the website and you're going to download, and I'll put this in the description, the NVIDIA driver version 456.38 it was this one you can see the links purple so i can just post that this is what i downloaded this one now this came out on thursday the 17th which maybe it's a coincidence i believe that's kind of like when the cards first came out um or something around that time maybe the software that we're fixing it with only is working with this particular driver i don't know i then got my fix file which is here manual firmware update uh, 1.2 sorry and i extracted it onto my desktop so once you've opened this up you're going to run this tool as the admin and then it's going to say update you're going to press the update and then you're going to select this file here which is the trinity file okay and then it didn't work and i thought oh it didn't work so here's what happens it's going to go from stages 1 1 to 1 2 to 1 3 to 1 4 to 1 5 Initially, what happened was it, it went to 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, not responding. Restarted it, and I've done this before, previously, 
and it never worked. However, maybe the steps of uninstalling the drivers and taking out the card makes it work. Now, on the fourth attempt, it went 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 and it said update successful. And I thought, brilliant. Looked across, nothing was happening. Then all of my RGB started flashing like mental. And that will work. That's when your card's working, when your RGB's flashing like crazy. You go to the Zotac website and you download Firestorm. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to touch it anymore. Um, I've got my setup clean. It's fine. You then um, can change your colors from Spectre. I will say that the actual RGB software isn't that great. It kind of, like the flashing, the color selections, it's not fantastic, but I managed to pick the color I wanted, which was white, and get it done. And that's how it worked. Again, here's the steps. Uninstall Firestorm. Uninstall your drivers with DDU. Restart. Take out your graphics card. Wait 15 minutes. Plug it back in. Launch the for firmware tool as the admin and update it. It's going to crash and it's going to say not responding. We've had this a million times before, but because of the steps we've just done, it's different this time. Once you've tried it three or four times, it will work. And then your GPU lights will begin to flash. Mine flashed bright red. Then you can install the firmware the, from the Firestorm app from the website and you can access Spectre. Then you can go back and you can up your update your drivers to the correct version. So I'm now on the correct NVIDIA drivers. You're not stuck on those old drivers. I then would recommend selecting your lights for the color you want, blue, white, whatever you want, and leaving it. I personally think the software is dreadful. Um, I'm 99% sure I could open this software, change my lights, apply it, and be done. However, I'm just not gonna do that um yeah so i'm just gonna put this over here and never use that program i'm gonna tuck it out of the way <laughs> and never use that program um yeah and we're done so i really do hope that fixes it for you and i really do hope zotac improve because originally the fans were a problem and the lighting became a problem after touching that software and that is a piece of software that's on your website i feel like you should take that down until the cards can run it correctly because you're causing people to almost brick their cards having to download a load of files that they might mess up it, it's not great is it um so yeah i hope this helps you or the engineers come up with a better fix because i was about to rma my card i would have had no card because that's what the customer support told me they said yeah your fans are knackered basically and your lighting if you if it can't flash with that tool it has to be rma'd when it it's not true um I, I just needed to follow this specific process um so hopefully that helps you